and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Thanks for listening. And uh, remember, please, well, don't remember, but just let you know if you don't know. I do have other podcasts, um, both for relaxation, sleep, pain relief, and various other things. Um, so check them out at my website. Or you can just go to your podcast, where you listen to your podcasts, and just put my name in. And the word sleep, or relaxation. And it will come up. There's a few different ones. There's the Let Me Bore You to Sleep. There's the... <laughs> I'm just trying to remember what ones. Deep Sleep Whisper. That's a popular one. Uh, among others. So, yeah, just check them out. Might be something a little bit different to listen to. So, please keep yourself comfortable. You've uh, sitting in a comfortable chair which supports your body or lying down on a flat surface such as a bed, a sofa. Um, I guess if you feel comfortable you could lie down on the floor uh, like on a yoga mat or something like that. Um, I would suggest if you're going to do something like that, I've not really said this before but um, if you're just going to be lying down on the floor in that kind of way, uh, first of all, maybe find something to support your head, a cushion or something. Secondly, maybe put something over your body, like a, a blanket or something, just to keep you warm enough in you know just in case you the body temperature dry goes down or the room temperature uh, sort of decreases a bit because when you're on the floor you're at the lowest level and that's for some reason that seems just to be the coldest part compared to when you're in bed or when you're sitting in a chair I'm not really sure why it's just something that I experienced whilst uh, lying down in a meditation room and blankets very much needed just seems to be a different a different kind of temperature but that might have more to do with the, the the meditation room than anything else well I'll stop waffling now and then I'll start waffling about something different. I thought it would be quite nice to find a different way to dis not, not not just to distract but to focus on something else as opposed to your body or your mind. Sometimes we'll focus on our bodies to almost distract the mind from the thoughts that you may be thinking that you may not want to have that possibly uh, get in the way of you relaxing deeply and drifting off to sleep. Uh, sometimes we focus on ways to slow down your mind so that those thoughts that perhaps were initially uh, being a little bit disruptive or um, you know just annoying in, in some ways start to slow down and they don't have the energy that maybe they seem to have before and in the process you free up energy for yourself maybe for your body uh, maybe just 
generally for your health or that energy can give you that a little bit extra to relax deeper or to drift to sleep. However it works for you, it's always useful to have different ways to get the same results. Because sometimes you might not want to focus on your body in order to calm your mind. Sometimes you won't want to be distracted. Other times you may really, really want to move away from your thoughts as much as possible. So there's lots of different ways and I try to, during these recordings, um, give different opportunities to test out various, hopefully useful techniques and thinking strategies that may help from different angles, you know, coming in from different angles, helping to calm your mind. And one of the things that can really calm your mind is just listening to me. And the more often you listen to my boring voice, the easier you'll find yourself relaxing. And if you're listening because you're wanting to go to sleep, it's worth remembering that I'd say 99% of falling asleep is relaxing because with falling asleep you basically get to the point where you're so relaxed that you don't even notice that you've fallen asleep you may be aware of how tired you are you may be aware that you're drifting so that you're listening to me and then it's almost as if your your ears just close like your ears have just had enough of being bored and your mind starts to I guess daydream but when you're really relaxed and you're in the mode of wanting to fall asleep maybe you're tired anyway that daydream is more like a sleepy dream. It's it's kind of somewhere in the <laughs> in the middle, I guess, of being, you know, sort of just daydreaming, standing uh, in the queue of a the bus queue, let's say, or waiting for a train, and maybe you're daydreaming about what you're going to do tomorrow or what you're going to do when you get to your destination. Or maybe daydreaming about what you did yesterday or the last time you was on holiday. Or maybe the last time you was waiting for a train. That daydreaming, that kind of dreaming isn't, isn't going to send you to sleep. Because you're standing up, you're possibly in a very busy place with a lot of, a lot of sound around you. But if you was to take away the environment... If you were to take away the sounds of the trains in the background, take away the sounds of the people, there may be thousands of people are around also waiting for that train. If you took away the temperature of, if you was outside or maybe inside, you know, under underground, if you took away all of that, if you took away the smells, that you'd have there and then take away 
the sight take away the visual aspect which happens when you're sitting or lying down listening to me and I assume you've got your eyes closed then that daydream that you were having whilst waiting for that train would take on a different texture it may seem kind of similar but that's all of those sounds that are there that maybe would kind of bring you back to being 100% aware of your surroundings those sounds, the smells because they're not there and because there's not perhaps much in the way of stimulation in this moment the likelihood is that you'll drift for longer and you'll drift deeper into that dreamy state and then you may find yourself listening to me again and you may not have even be aware that you were daydreaming but you might think oh what's he talking about so you may again be focusing on my voice and have almost disregarded that daydream that you are having because it's no longer relevant or interesting and then again after a few minutes you may find that your mind starts to wander again which then leads to another dreamy state And each time you go into that dreamy state, you become more relaxed. And you may become even more sleepy as well. And you go deeper. And it usually would last for a little bit longer as well. So that when you come back, it's a little bit harder to come back. And you kind of, you feel awake again and you're hearing my voice again. But you may feel a little bit disjointed, you know, a little bit disoriented. You may even have that feeling sometimes when we wake up you know, for a, a second or so, not really knowing where you are, which is natural. And when that happens, you, you're you more aware that you've drifted off. And you may be listening solely for relaxation purposes and have no interest in drifting off to sleep but there's still a chance that because your mind is no longer being stimulated from the outside because there's nothing at all for you to think about there's nothing for you to do. This really is a very, very quiet space. Where your mind can pretty much let go of everything. 
and in a way the only thing that's really operating is your ears as you listen to me but then your ears might decide to stop listening and you may drift back into that that sense of calmness into that world of dreams and you may not even be aware that you're dreaming you may notice that you are dreaming you may not notice but it doesn't seem to matter, you know, <laughs> even if you're aware, even if you can actually realize that you've drifted off a bit. Because when you're aware in that situation, you're just so, so deeply relaxed, both physically and in your mind. You almost don't care whether or not you've drifted into some kind of dream state because it doesn't matter you don't care if you're relaxed or not and that sense of really not caring and it's not a negative feeling it's a positive feeling it's just really just being completely content with whatever is where nothing bothers you at all nothing has the ability to affect you so it's almost as if you've got a protective layer around your body and it's turned you invisible from the world. No one can see you. But in turn, you kind of can't see anyone else or anything else. So you're left undisturbed. Completely free to just be you in this moment without anything or anyone being able to affect this sense of growing comfort that is spreading through your mind and through your body and it feels so good to really give in let go and relax into the feeling of relaxation to give yourself permission to completely completely feel totally relaxed with the ability to allow if you choose yourself to let go even deeper and drift off to sleep almost as if you're just slipping away into this safe calm magical world of comfort and possibilities so deeply relaxed and peaceful not needing or wanting anything just accepting yourself realizing that you are perfect the way you are realizing really understanding 
and believing and accepting that you are an amazing person. Which is why you can relax so very deeply and sleep so very peacefully. So very, very easily. So very. 